and welcome to episode 13 of Pagan Power. We are King Yazathingyan. I mean, we're the thing, I guess. And we're 76 years of age, so how long is he going to live? Not sure. Probably not too long. We did fix his religion, but not before getting an achievement in the last at the end of the last video with him. So that was kind of cool. We have no available... Oh, because our only spouse has landed. Well, that's disappointing. We need a spouse with uh, lots of stewardship. Sure, we'll marry her. Excellent. And then you get to be promoted. You get to be the primary spouse. Excellent. So now you can manage domains, so we're not over our limit. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We're learning. I guess we're always learning. Let's do medicine focus. Let's see if we can hold on to this king for a little bit. Uh, because he does have great learning stats. And now we're doing primogenitor in six years. When with the previous guy, it was... 17 years so that's pretty impressive and our heir is uh another sword rattler and he's the wrong religion at least he's the right culture are we the right yep we're the right culture okay hey we've been invited to a party let's go maybe there'll be lots of yummy things to eat yes there are we are gladness pass me another serving please thank you oh yeah, let's have an interesting conversation. We we like people. Or we like people to think we like people. Farewell, my wife. Oh, we visited our wife. Who's, uh, over here. A vassal in this gigantic empire. Uh, you just ate a whole bunch of people. I don't like that. Um, you're like the same size as me over here. Granted, you're another religion, so we can... Go up our holy order, but our holy order's only got 1k troops. Um, you stay over on your side, and we stay on our side. You got it? Oh, we have a new heir. What happened to our last heir? He died. Now we have a 69-year-old. Who's kind of met across the board. Ugh. Ooh, poor 79. How long will we live is the grand, grand question every time. And will we live long enough to become primogenitor? No, I'm not going to press your claim. Will we? Because you know that's what this guy is going to do. He gets three years. Three years. Does everyone like him? No, this guy does not. Are we, are we swaying you? Let's sway you. Come, like us, my dear friend. Because we... Well, we're not ambitious. We are very calm. And uh, we think, you know, our son should be the next ruler. And to ensure that, we need to research primogenitor and make our son the next ruler. But we have wait, we have wakeful servants. That's exceptional. And uh, you know, maybe we'll have some longer-lived rulers. Our daughter Waxio. All right, that's fine. You can name the daughters what you want. Uh. You're our grandson and ward. You're beautiful. Be fickle, wrathful, or forgiving. Yeah, you can be fickle. That's okay, kid. And we have discovered primogenitor. Let's go study cranes after this. And while we're doing that, let's come up here. Succession. Change. Back to primogenitor. Change. Or not back to, but back to a single heir. No more house seniority. Excellent. We are 82 years old. We have done amazing things. And our heir is now our son. Look at that. Isn't he special? I mean, he's content and he's an atheist, but he is well learned. And, uh, yeah, no. No. Granddaughter. Granddaughter, why are you... The game is trying to marry me. Grr, the game. Of course. Well, then, our son needs a... Kids. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to have to do something about this. Because, uh... She's going to marry someone regular marriage. Which I don't approve of. But I can't get her into our court. I just realized we have a great grandson who's 27 years old. We have a great, great grandson who's three. Wow. You know, apparently losing part of your face just helps you live a long time. You should try it. And we 
would you look at that? We can take another legacy. Let's go with graceful aging. Quite lovely. I think maybe next we'll go with glory. Glory for our family. And we have discovered cranes. So we're going to go after bombards next. Which will take five years with our current dude. And we're going to go around and upgrade things. Who needs cranes? Yeah, you need the fortress building upgraded first. But we can totally go with Royal Reserves and get our duchy building upgraded. What about anywhere else? Do we have duchy buildings that need upgrades? What do you need? Uh, we need Royal Armory. Okay, for jousting as well, I suppose, probably. I would assume yes and yes. Okay. So we need Royal Armory, which is here. But we're not going to be getting that one yet. We're going to get Bombards, and then we're going to go for a Meticulate. My, 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 my meticulations. I can't say it. Not like uh, Shadowversity dude can. But, and then maybe Royal Armory. Okay, that's cool. And this duchy is once again creating a faction against us. 3% of our military power. Honey bun, you've got 682 troops. I have 21,768. I don't think you're gonna go anywhere. Here we go. Let's go for glory. We are desirable matches. Everybody wants to marry into our family. We are the most splendid there could ever be. And we reach achieved monumental. I'm yours. Also, we have a soulmate. Oh, my love. Never let me out of your sight again. But we did it. We have... The Crownswood Courts, a max level duchy building. Quite splendid if I do say so myself. Also, we're upgrading cities everywhere, our temples. Our dudes are doing as they should. Also, wait, no, you approve of us. Why do you not, why do you not have full taxes? Uh, apparently alms and pacification, okay. But this is uh, quite splendid. We also have so much frickin' money. Like, how do we spend all this money? Don't know. Build a bunch of elephants? We've already got a thing of elephants. Like, we got elephants. They're awesome, aren't they? They're the best. They're amazing. They're splendid. They're superior. And, oh, our lover's pregnant. We can't marry her, can we? Nope. We don't have any slots open. <laughs> If she died, our wife and friend, she's 74, but I doubt that's going to happen. Oh, well. Oh, yes. Let's, uh, let's sleep with our kinswoman. Oh, these are my shun sunshine. Let us meet again. She's 18. We're 91. You know, what could possibly go wrong? A 91-year-old in love with an 18-year-old. That's severely squeaky. Uh, we also have a severe penalty because we're obese, because we're gluttonous, and yet, and yet, we just keep living. Wait, what? And the burden of having given birth to a fatherless bastard. Wait, who put you in prison? How did... Um... Scandal, wait, wait a minute. How did you get imprisoned all the way over here? You were in my court. You're my courtier. I can't even interact. What? I can still ransom you. Yes. Get you out of prison. Oh, good. Now give me my kid back, too. How the flip did she get imprisoned all the way over there? So weird. And our wife died. That's so horrible. Now where's our lover? Where's our lo young lover who's pregnant? You, my dear, you will marry me. Yes. Ah, the secret will haunt me no longer. We're finally lawfully wed. Come here, wife of mine. So your child, that child's gonna be fine. This child, he's still a wild oat. Poor Joseph. Poor, poor Joseph. J -j -j joseph they know what they say. Come on now, Joseph, you'll make it someday. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, that was unexpected. No, what? What? Too much of a good thing. 
So, this is our soulmate. Who is not giving us children. Or she did. Wait a minute, they've both given us children. We only had one slot. We married the... We should have married the other one. Uh... And stop being lovers. Yeah. I must let Thikwa go. I didn't marry you. I mean, I guess you're still my soulmate, but you're not my lover now. No, you're still you're still done as a lover. Okay, that's possibly broken. Papa. Sure, Princess Papa. Hello, Princess Papa. Are you cheating on me? Let me find out, huh? Are you cheating on this 90-something-year-old you're married to? <laughs> Excellent. Good job, people. Hey, we discovered Bombard, so matriculations. Let's go for it. We also have 41 learning now because we just keep living, we just keep getting older. But we're going to take that and we're going to come build Bombards. Build them all. And upgrade them all the way to 12. Yes, please. It takes a lot of money, but we have so much money we can't even spend it all. Uh, apparently our soulmate is pregnant. Is another old wife going to die? No, she's 27, 25, 57. You are 57. Let me murder you. Can we murder you? 95%. 11 months. It's not going to be a time. The baby's going to be a bastard. Poor baby. Someone is sending us a plush and exotic carpet. Our neighbor. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Oh, but we'll be dead within the year anyway. We're 94 years old. It's not entirely unexpected, honestly. Uh, oh, and the Mongols are here. But this is before patch 1.1, so they're probably not going to do too much because there's currently a bug where they lose even when they're winning a war. Yeah, that's not the best bug. <laughs> and we have died! Miraja Yaz has the pagan kingdom abandoned his mortal coil at 95 years of age. My god. He died from complications related to obesity. He didn't die of old age. He died because he was obese. Dude! If you weren't gluttonous and obese, how long would you have lived? I, I don't know. But now we are Maharaja Tarabaya. Um, but I'm going to end this video here, actually. I, oh, good. He's had a son. That's great because his, his son is ugly. Excuse me. How did we get an ugly kid in this family? How? Also, his daughter is still uh, married incorrectly. Yeah. Ooh, that's okay. We just have to make sure the son survives. But... Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment. Let me know. Subscribe to the channel. Help it grow. I'll leave a comment down below. Except I said comment twice. I guess I just really like reading comments and responding to them. I do respond to every comment. Well, 99.9% .9 of comments. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. And be sure to check out Discord and Patreon down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.